my name is Jan Boeta and in this section we will be looking at interaction recorder replay functionality. So here we are looking at a list of recordings which has already been found running a search query. In order for me to open up one of these recordings I can simply double click the recording which will open up the recording and in most cases automatically start playback at the beginning of the recording. Now once you've opened the recording as you can see over here on my screen it will give you all of the details associated with that specific recording. More specifically, we got at the top of the screen the audio functionality, primary sound driver, remote audio, telephone handset. So you can choose how you would like to replay this recording, either via your telephone handset or via your computer. You can also view some information about the media by simply clicking on the media and about it environment which will give you the encoding and the length of the recording. Right below that you have got the indication of what the recording audio path looks like and you can indeed move the line of where you want to start the recording by clicking on different places within that graph. Below that you've got the usual play, stop, forward, backwards, audio and even speed of the playback of the recording and you've got the ability to add these little bookmarks on the recording. I'll just drag it onto the screen over here. At the tag, you can say whatever you want to tag the bookmark as, and it will actually then insert whatever message you have tied in to that specific location. If you look at my recording over here, you will see I now have the green placeholder in there, and if I hover my mouse over it, it'll show me what the note is. At the bottom of the screen you do have the details page which will give you the media detail including the uh, initiation policy that actually recorded the call, direction if that information is available as well as the recording ID, date and timestamp. Participant information will also be shown in the replay window. Any attributes that has been added onto the recording, in my case I don't have any, will be showed here. You also do have the all-important audit trail that will show you who accessed the recording and what they did during that recording access. Over here you can see I had some changes, modification to the recording, that's when I added the note a little bit earlier on, as well as playing back the recording. You can also score the recording from here, which we will deal with in a later section, any tags that has been added onto the recording and any events associated with that recording is also listed. In this section, we looked at the Interaction Recorder replay functionality. Thank you very much for joining me in this session, and see you again soon.